Hey guys, it's Jamie and old mate Pelican here. I'm literally one month into buying uh, my very first jet ski. I've picked up the Sea-Doo Fish Pro Trophy 2024. So I want to share with you, I guess, a month's worth of learnings and why I think it's an absolute awesome vessel and also why buying in the middle of winter is actually a fantastic idea. Hope you all enjoy coming for the ride. Let's oh, go. Yeah, we're on, we're on, we're on. So the brand new Ocean Culture Magazine hoodies have just arrived, check them out, hope you like them. Uh, we're going to have two of these to give away uh, to one of our subscribers, so all you need to do is make sure you like the Facebook page, like the Instagram page, and also like the brand new YouTube account. So uh, do all of that and you're in the draw to win one of these awesome hoodies. So my jet ski experience started with the guys down at Brookvale, the beaches uh, Can-Am and Sea-Doo. Uh, Jamie and Chris down there took fantastic care of me from my initial phone call. Um, didn't hesitate with all the stupid questions I had that he probably get asked a hundred times. But uh, look, took great care of me, definitely pointed me in the right direction and um, can't recommend them highly enough. So if you're loving the look of my Fish Pro, just go down and have a chat with the boys and check out the range and see what works and uh, they'll take great care of you. Something that's really stood out for me is just how quickly you can get this machine out on the water on your own. You know, you can manage this unloading, loading at the boat ramp on your own, super easy. And, um, you know, on more than a couple of occasions, I've been sitting down at the computer at home, uh, editing different video projects I've been working on, and just like that, decided to jump on the ski and go for a fish. So, just been editing up a storm, uh, last week's national titles up at Malula Bar. But the wind that was meant to come up today hasn't come up. So you know what? There's a little bit of light rain, but I'm loving getting out on the new Fish Pro in winter. Just get the steamer on, get the wetty on, get out there and get amongst it. There's plenty of fish and waves out there to be had. So let's pack up the computer and get out there. So for ease, super easy to manage on your own. Uh, and another awesome thing is just the stability of the Fish Pro. Uh, it is a pretty big unit, as you can see. I'm six foot three, six foot four, weigh 105, 106 kegs, and there's just a, a pile of stability standing uh, in the gunnel here on your own, both feet. If you're fishing, it's not a problem at all. You can move around the ski super easily, and it's just got a pile of stability on board which for when you're trolling and when you're out in the rougher conditions is, you know, exactly what you want. So um, yeah, stability and ease getting out here fishing on your own, you've literally got nothing to stop you from going out uh, and making the most of every condition. Sun's coming up. Had a few hours up the sleeve this morning. Woke up at um, about four. Checked the wind. Forecast wind was way lower than expected. And uh, yeah. Wasn't working till this afternoon, doing a little filming job for BOC. So I just got the new um, Jettech glasses dash goggles. Um, cool thing about these bad boys, I've got the prescription glasses inside the lens there. So um, if you're an old bastard like me and you've got to wear glasses, you can still see these nice and uh, fitted in there. But you still get all the benefits of having the goggles on, which when you punch them through at high speed, um, or in the rain even, uh, you don't want those raindrops smacking you in the eyeballs when you're going fast, so these little things are going to be uh, pretty epic. Alrighty, we are here.
Taylor. Oh well, first fish for the day is always good. These travels are always a bit sketchy, you've got to watch them. Um, I'm going to keep him for bait because we might go and try and pick up a little shark off Lion Island, but um, mate, you can't beat fresh tailor, so there you go. Uh, so when it comes to ease of use, if you're like me and you hadn't used a jet ski before, the easiest way to describe it is it's just like riding a motorbike on the ocean. Uh, it's so smooth and so fun, uh, and the controls on the Fish Pro you know, they're a little bit smoother, they're a little bit more gentle than what you're going to find, you know, on a faster, more aggressive jet ski. And that's for when you're positioning the ski and you're looking to get into the right position, you know, you don't need that super sudden acceleration. So, you know, you're going to find the Fish Pro all round is a really easy jet ski to use and a pile of fun. So for me, the reasons why I decided to go for the Trophy, which was the, the top of the line, was just the very cool additions, you know, like the Garmin Fish Finder, uh, excellent when you're out there in the ocean and you're trolling reefs and you're looking for those, you know, perfect fish spots. So I'm not going to go too much into the Garmin on this particular video because it kind of needs its own standalone video. So one other thing I will mention about the Garmin is when you're setting it up, um, don't go and put a 64 gig card in it. Uh, it won't actually handle that larger capacity card. A 16 gig or even a 32 gig will get you out of trouble and enable you to load all of those maps. The trolling modes on board is perfect for fishermen that are looking to do your trolling. I've typically been running with two rods in the water at the same time. We'll have a medium to a deep diver further out the back with the Christmas tree a little bit closer in. Our, on the Taylor and the Bonito and even the Kingies that we've been catching off the headlands and the cliffs uh, over here on the northern beaches of Sydney have sort of equally been hitting both. So we've been having great success there. But um, the trolling speed, simply just press the button uh, on the left here, you can dial up and down for that speed. It's capped at nine kilometers per hour. Um, but even when you're in the ocean, a lot of those lures really want to be trolled at like five to six knots. That's kind of the perfect speed anyway. Uh, and I found that's something we've been using a lot of, particularly when there's a lot going on. You don't want to have to manage the throttle as well. So uh, the inclusion of the throttle control there for the trolling speeds is, is beautiful. Right, get the lines out. Sunday morning, sun's out. And uh, yeah, gonna do a little troll along here through hole in the wall. The eagle just got a fish. <laughs> wow, that's cool. You might see him go, oh, it's not a bad fish actually. So there's always two fish in the water if the eagle's picking them up. So let's see how we go today. A little bit of movement on the sounder. Oh, and we might be on over here right now. Leave the other line in the water. I don't want to get tangled. Get any neutrals here? I'd say we've got a Benito. We've got the new deep diver on, so targeting a bit of slightly deeper water. But there's other features on board, like the sound system on this thing absolutely pumps when you're out there. Uh, I definitely use that when I'm having a fish. But you know, you've got your live well tank at the rear here. Uh, I've really only used that more so for catching liveies if I'm catching potty mullet or alike, and I want to keep them fresh for the live baits. Uh, but again, really good addition. You've got your chopping board on top. I've got five rod holders on board. I can also take the net on there. And it's the first fish for the day. So basically, we can maintain the 100% strike rate on the fish pro. So another standout reason why I went for the trophy uh, was this awesome fishing seat. So as you can see, uh, you can easily get three people on here, but the addition of the seat, which I'll show you quickly now, I'll just get my little early bag out of the way, is if we click this out, we've got a little seat platform here, which literally just connects into our little section here and then just like that as you can see we've got a very awesome little fishing seat but the other benefit is inside 
We've also got another further little backrest, which means when we're having a fish, you can literally be super comfortable up here. We've got full rotation on that. We can swivel around 360 degrees and you'd think that it'd affect the stability, but even when you're kind of bouncing around a little bit, you've got plenty of stability up here. The, the sitting position and the fishing position up here uh, for if you're casting or even bottom bashing is a pretty amazing setup. And as I said, surprisingly stable even when you're out in the ocean. As you can see, sitting up here on this casting seat or platform, mate, it's pretty awesome, really. Um, there's a westerly blowing, so there's a little bit of a rock and a roll going on, uh, but not much incoming swell. But um, as you can see, it's a pretty comfy little spot. Generally, when you're going to get the ski, it's going to be capped at speed. It's got the computer in there. Uh, it's not going to let you go flat stick uh, for the first sort of three or four times you use it. But um, once that does unlock, uh, you're going to find that you're going to be, you know, pushing 80 to 90 k's per hour. That's pretty much what I've, I've mapped it out so far. Uh, but again, the speed and the control that you're going to experience um, on this bigger, really stable machine is, is pretty awesome. So guys and girls, before you get out on the water, make sure you take care of your safety. Uh, make sure you get your life jacket on and it zipped up. So if you're going offshore, you're gonna need one of these little guys, a uh, little personal uh, location beacon. Um, but look, till next time, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna have a pile more videos coming. We've got some fishing trips coming up and we're gonna be out there uh, ripping into some pretty cool locations and fish. So till next time, we'll catch you all soon.